you can see it, but the, the turkey there is uh, there with the young ones. Going across the field there. I'm going to be camping over in here somewhere. So that's what we're doing. So I'm doing a little modern camping, not used to that. So over there I got my <clears throat> my hammock, tarp, stuff under there, a bug net. Everything went up pretty good except I got the bug net all tangled up and could have made a comedy show. And then this chair here, never mind following directions, you know, you guys don't follow directions. I fell on my arm as soon as they sat in it. Didn't put the pin in it properly. But all in all, it's uh solo tonight people coming tomorrow but uh i'm just probably going to use my stove over here um tonight i don't know about that might might get a shower tonight I, I think it's all done i think there's a lot of bugs but uh we're fine man it's beautiful yeah god's country out here so make coffee in the morning over there got a little stove right there then I'll get things going. There'll be more people here for breakfast. But uh, yeah, you know, got everything going. So, got stuff up there just to uh, store a little building to store. This is at a, a camp. But uh, that's what we're doing here.
It's been raining all day. There's a little fat wood here. <clears throat> it's my little kid I carry on me all the time in my pocket. Carolina Chris there. Solo camping tonight. I'll make up some tea. So I'm uh, sitting here in a camp waiting for my son and uh, John, but uh, there's a camp over there, but I figured I'd uh, make this right in camp. And uh, it's the Holtzbrook, it said Hutz Barn on it, but it, it's stamped uh, Holtzbrook. But uh, what I wanted to try out is this uh, Odin Wolf Scandy Grind not the fancy one just a regular one and uh really did very well it's a nice strong knife and uh now this is just roughing things 
because I have one little chisel didn't really work out too good but I, I, I have some plans for that never really use them but um, yeah so this is a birch I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that hole in there for the hell of it but uh, you know a little birch spatula made here while I'm waiting um, should be pretty good this is pretty smooth in the back you know, it's not not bad at all really looks a little chunky but it's probably wouldn't even have to sand it but uh, and that's with that uh, knife so is it a knife review it's uh, you know I I've messed with a lot I make spoons and spatulas and some cooks and stuff but uh, yeah I mean it says long well I'll finish it up when I get home and make it nice and oil it and all that stuff but basically you're in the field you can make a nice easy spatula it doesn't have to be like this but uh, making anything but uh, yeah this knife is uh, 440c steel um, worked out very well you know especially in this area here and here and I got the hatchet and uh, and that's about it so but uh, yeah so it's kind of like a short review of what this it has great 90 degree spine on it too so there you go so my son's rolling in now so i'll let you go but i figured let me try this knife and i'm very 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 happy with it nice candy grind Odin wolf yeah and mentioned doug shoe bushcraft when you he has a code there get a little discount but uh yeah i have about three other knives but not not as candy grind but i tried it this worked very well so it's quinny esmo fair ride peace Keep your eyes to the sky. Freedom. couple of quails, actually four of them, lightly marinated with some virgin olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, a little lemon pepper powder. Cooking up nicely, letting them slowly cook now that we've got a little crispiness to them. Should be ready in about a half hour.